I am making a special episode of Go Go Gadget Dirt where I yeah. interview yeah. local artists and usually it's just music artists because hello, we are a radio station, but today I have a special episode. I have yeah. Sabrina Fallow, which everybody knows, and I have a new guest, Terrell, and Terrell is an author. Terrell, how are you? Hello. Good, how are you doing? I am fantastical and magical as always. Tell us about your book before we get into the musical side of it. Well, I mean, it's, it's an audio book. It's something that I wrote, I would say, beginning of the year. I think during the pandemic, um, I started writing uh, different stories. And uh, this particular story was something that I wanted to write that kind of shared a little bit about me. I kind of shared that by using the characters in the story to kind of portray what I was feeling uh, during this whole pandemic uh, episode. So it's a true story. It's a nonfiction. Yeah, pretty much. And so but, how um, did you yeah. meet Sabrina? Um, actually, I was looking for some artists, you know, to use some of their music within the story in the background, kind of, you know, trying to put it in key areas of the story. So I just made a posting on Facebook to reach out to some artists that was open-minded and actually working together and seeing if we can collab and put some of their music within the story. So that's how I met Sabrina uh, during that time. Very, very cool. And you picked the song of hers called Paradise Comes With a Price. Mm-hmm. What did that song say to you? Why did you pick that song? Like, what was it about that song that you were like, this is perfect for my book? Well, I mean, to be honest, when I first started listening to it, I liked it. It was a vibe that kind of drew me into it. And I started listening to the lyrics a little bit. And there's certain scenes within my story that when I do find a particular track that I think that will match perfectly with that scene, then I reach out and let them know, hey, that's, I think this will work between both of us. So then when I heard her song, I mean, instantly there's a scene that I um, I think I, I, I said, this will probably work with this particular scene. And so um, that's when we kind of communicated with each other and I listened to it again. And I said, okay, yeah, I, I, I like this very much. And so that's where we are today. That's amazing. A lot of her songs I actually reflect on my own life with, and I'm like, wow, that is powerful. And so, Sabrina, how does it feel that you are... I feel like the book is not only a book, it's not only an audio book, it's like almost like a musical. This is a whole new path for you. Yeah, yeah. I sent my song to Terrell, and I'm glad he chose it, because I, I've always wanted that song to be in a project or place somewhere where it can be heard because it's about mental health, which should be talked about a lot more than it is. And I'm glad he chose it. Like, it's perfect for, for his book. I agree. And have you listened to the book, Sabrina? I heard a small clip from Jessica, who plays the lead in the book, Cindy, on his website. And wow, I, <laughs> it, it was beautiful. Like, she did it well. She played that character very well. Yeah. That's awesome. Do you have any part of the book that you'd like to share with us, Terrell? Well, right now, the book, the book, the, um, the book is the story is still in post editing stages. Oh, okay, um, so it's not even out yet. This is like yeah, it's gonna it's gonna debut Memorial Day. Ooh. And right now, and and that that was the whole reason of getting these artists now, so I can put them inside the story. And so once that's all completed then I'm able to let them actually hear the full story and hear their tracks on it. And at the same time, then when I release, that would give us plenty of time to, to do more promos for it. So then when the release date does come, everybody's aware of it. Oh, I really like that. I think mm -hmm. for our listeners, I'm not sure. I've interviewed Sabrina before, but I'm not sure what songs we played or didn't play. I'm going to, <laughs> <laughs> we're going to play Paradise Comes with a Price. <laughs> room bloodshot eyes looking to leave the gloom climbing up that stairway where you can 
can almost taste the sky Dropping through the atmosphere Asking yourself why through tears That needle in your vein feels like ice On a night like this you don't think Come crashing down You can't let go and touch the ground Is that what you really want To leave this world right now So stuck in hopelessness Deep in your own darkness says You push yourself to the edge Leave that note behind And that was Paradise Comes with a Price by Sabrina Falla, a frequent flyer here on this station. So there was Paradise Comes with a Price. Uh, Are we allowed to know what little tidbit of the book this is in? Do we get any secrets? Uh, You know... I'm like KSC. I don't. I don't give out my recipe right now. No, oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, we can talk about the whole overall. What is mental? health mean to you and through the book what do you hope to accomplish in the mental health world well you know um to be quite honest uh, during the pandemic it hit me look really hard previously before the pandemic when you hear your friends or you know they're going through some kind of depression anxiety i'm always the one that says uh, you, you you should be able to get over it you know i, I was always mm-hmm. the person that that was kind of like a non-believer towards it. And so when I actually went through the, through that, I have the most utmost total respect for mental health. Oh, because, like that said, is interesting. So you were like, a, yeah. you know, just smile seven minutes and it'll become natural. And then you went through your own struggles mm-hmm. and was like, oh, damn, these people, they go through it, huh? Yes. I appreciate yeah, that. It was, yeah, it was an eye opener. Uh, it was complete eye opener. I know there's people now that probably suffer from it chronically, and I was able to kind of slip from the grasp of it. I mean, it took almost it took almost a year and a half, two years, for me to actually be able to kind of live my life normal now. That was, uh, I, we get a lot of visitors here at the station and I actually got to sit down with Governor McKee, which is the governor of Rhode Island. And I asked him, what are we going to do about the next pandemic that is about to arise, which is mental 
health. And uh, he said he had a team on it. Although he did have a round table with a bunch of important people about domestic violence, which I am very grateful for. I think that's amazing. We need to put more focus on that as well, because it is also a mental health space of feeling codependent or feeling trapped or feeling depressed or too worthless to leave a bad situation. And so I definitely appreciate that. But I just I haven't seen our government in any state. I live in Connecticut. I work in Rhode Island. I haven't seen either state that I'm directly affiliated with doing much about mental health. I suffer from depre- I suffer from a lot of things. I have anxiety. I have depression. I try to take care of it. I'm on medications, but a lot of people, there's so many medications out there. There's so many tactics, techniques. It's so hard to pinpoint what you need. And I think more people expressing maybe through books, maybe through music, maybe through whatever, what it is to them that gets them through an issue you really really useful and what do you guys think about that well i that's why i wrote my song to help others actually robin williams inspired my song i wrote it around the time that he passed and i was always wondering what was he thinking during that time so that that, that inspired me to write the song because it's like what are people going through when they're depressed but i wrote it to help people to get through it and not to give up on themselves. I like that. And uh, do you guys think that you're going to do more projects together? I hope so. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> yeah, I, mean <laughs> I was messaging her a few days ago, and we actually thought about that as well. There is some projects I do have on paper that I haven't really had a chance to kind of look over because I'm trying to actually trying to finish up this one before I start anything new. But yeah, I'm definitely open-minded to um, doing more work with Sabrina. That's awesome. Am I allowed to nominate one of my favorite Sabrina Fala songs? <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> all right. Because <laughs> we're talking about mental health and we're talking about, I mean, I love all of her songs. Before I ever talk to her I listen yeah. to all her music and <laughs> I have to, I stole it all so I put it all on my phone <laughs> she sent it to me she sent it to me I didn't actually steal it she sent it to me is it ask uh-huh it, it is ask is it, is it ask yeah yeah <laughs> ask is a really great for this theme of mental health I actually mm -hmm. there's a lot of artists that promote asking asking for help asking yeah. for what you need and one of my other favorite artists that promotes this is Amanda Palm I don't know if either of you have ever heard of her. Oh. No, she's very yeah. underground. She was part of the Dressed right. in Dolls. Oh, okay. She, she uh, wrote a book called something about asking for help. But I read I read it twice and don't remember the title. And so <laughs> when I heard this song by Sabrina, it actually reminded me of Amanda Palmer, oh. even though a lot of people think that Sabrina sounds like Joan Jett. I was thinking of Amanda Palmer the whole time. <laughs> so here is Ask, and we'll listen to that real quick because this is my nomination for the next project, if it's about mental health. <laughs> You whom you hire on the verge of what you want to do Your feet the fence are on is new Where do you land? Apprehension not to mention You're a ball of nerves that can't relax The fireworks way out of hand Pace the floor of the black coin Take a breath and see the signs Over the rest of what you haven't done Break yourself, let it let it smash against your skin as you stand Waiting for the plan Ask for help for more direction to mend The size of million questions And ask for more Ask for forgiveness Ask yourself if you're still in this Coming in last All you gotta do is Coming in last, all you gotta do is ask. Frantic fluster on the bus, there's someone staring back. Irritation, aggravation in my head. Pins and needles, almost lethal, like a heart attack. When I crash, the cars that pass leave me for dead. Face the floor of the front coin, take a breath and see the signs over the rest of what you haven't done. Brace yourself, let it in, let it smash against your skin as you stand.
is my favorite Sabrina Fella song. <laughs> uh, for Terrell, was it easy for you to ask for help or was it more difficult? I was actually in denial, to be honest. And um, I just thought it was, I really did. You know what? The, the funny thing was, is I really wasn't looking deeply into the, the kind of the, 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 the routine I was going through. I thought it was just a normal thing that I was doing. And like I said, there's a lot of things that I was doing subconsciously. And then it just, it just hit me one time. And then I said, am I, am I, is this depression? Is this what depression is? Is this what anxiety is? But then again, I kind of brushed it under the rug. Like I was telling Sabrina, there's been, you know, cause I, I work from home. A, a lot of times, the majority of the times after I finish working, I just go straight to bed and just lay in my bed. And, and then I start seeing different signs crying out of nowhere, you know, just randomly, just any small thing would just make me cry, like, like ball. Oh, no. and, uh, and it was, it was, it was horrible. And so, you know, you know what was funny is I lost, I lost some friends mm. behind all of it because it was hard for them to deal with. You know, because I would try to open up to them, trying to express what I'm feeling. I guess, and I think it kind of scared them away. I can relate. I feel like one thing I've learned through growing is that I need to be over trying to make other people comfortable. Mm. trying to make other people comfortable and hiding my emotions or hiding what's wrong with me. I have a lot of stuff in my life that is not normal. It is not comfortable. It is not pretty. But I only want the people around me that can handle that. I don't I don't want to hide everything to make right. other people comfortable. I just don't think it's necessary. That's true. Yeah. Losing friends because of depression or mental health, I don't know if that is necessarily friends. You know, do you agree or is it still too fresh? I mean, I, I, okay, so yeah, I, I, I agree. I mean, the way I looked at it back then was like, um, you know, these are, these are friends that I've known for, for a while. So to kind of not hear from them anymore, like, I mean, they just, it's like, I mean, it's, it's basically like they just fell off, the, off earth. I mean, and not hear from them anymore, it was kind of, I think it just got me even deeper into depression. That you sucks, know? yeah. Because you want that outlet to be able to talk to someone. You don't want to, for me, and this is just personally for me, I don't like keeping stuff inside, you know? And so I have, a, I have an inner circle. I'm there for my friends. You know, whatever situation they're going through, I'm there side by side. And so when I felt that I was going through something, you know, mentally, I, I thought that it would work the same exact way, but it didn't. And so that's why I think I went down deeper, deeper into my depression than, you know, than we should. I just needed to talk to somebody. And and so um, it was it was kind of hard for me to end up having to, uh, uh, my job offers a, um, an EAP program that you're able to uh, reach out and talk to a professional therapist. And, um, and, and you know, during the meetings, you know, the main thing that she said was start doing something that you enjoy doing. Keep your mind off of things. Yeah. And because uh, I, I lost weight. I mean, some people are depressed, gain weight. That's me. I lost weight. <laughs> <laughs> I, I stopped eating. I mean, I was like, I was maybe getting it in 500 calories a week. Ouch. And um, yeah, I went from, I lost, I think during the whole ordeal, I lost almost 80 pounds. Wow. And uh, yeah, I lost a, I lost a oh my lot gosh, of gosh, I want to come hug I you was... and make you soup <laughs> and make you a sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> I'm good now. I mean, it took almost a year to gain it back. Before then, when I was going through my, you know, I was going through my situation, I started thinking that maybe I was terminally ill. Maybe I had cancer, maybe, you know, because of my weight loss. I hate that you went and through so that, I... but I love that you went through that because in my opinion, depression, mental health, anxiety, all of that is just as important to get help with as cancer is. Mm -hmm. No, definitely. I, in my opinion, it, I think it, it could mess with your, your, your mental state and your physical state and your mind, your body, everything. I mean, it, if you was to see me prior and then when I was going through it, I mean, I got... There was, there was time, you know how you see the movies 
you look in your mirror and you see yourself and you kind of you hate what you see in the mirror and in the reflection you like yeah oh man yeah that's rough we're going to take a break and we will come back right here with the rest of our interview we'll pick up talking about losing friends this is dj gadget and you're listening to go go gadget dirt where we get the nitty-gritty on local artists and local means well the world All right, we are back. You're listening to Go Go Gadget Dirt. I have Terrell and Sabrina with me, and we are talking about the book Alone, a book coming out around Memorial Day, and you can find it at IamTerrell.com. Um, your whole situation with your friends, though, I'm going to send this one over to Sabrina. Does it remind you of any other song that you have? Why would that be? Because I wrote her during a time when my friends were not supportive in what I was doing. And, and I get really honest because if I'm not honest explaining the song, it's hard to have people to understand it. So my friends were not supported in, in my music at all. I, I, I don't even think they even thought I could even get to where I am now. But I wrote it because we were going our separate ways and I had to walk away from them. So I, I don't have friends either. I lost my friends in, in this business. Oh, I'm your friend, so girly. I know. <laughs> so I wrote this song to help people know that it's okay to to move on, but just don't regret it because once you do it, it's done. You have to do it when you're ready to. So I did it. I walked away, and then a few months later, I went to Nashville, and that and that that that's the same time I wrote Paradise Comes with a Price, and I wrote Hurt, and I'm like, yeah. It's around the same time everything was happening. So. Yeah, I think we should listen to that. This yeah. is not in the audiobook, but I just think for our interview, we'll have a, a theme for that. And I think this is another Sabrina Fallow song. It's something that I think we've all gone through. I've definitely lost friends because of they couldn't deal with whatever I was going through, which really wasn't fair because I was going through it. I just needed them to listen or mm-hmm. just you don't have to say anything, just whatever. But it made them so uncomfortable that they ended up just deciding we were going in different directions and I am okay pretty okay nowadays I'm not glad it happened I'm just glad that I found out before it was too late so here is Hurt by Sabrina Fallow which talks about a lot of what we've been talking about right now sitting on this Floor tonight above the broken boulevard Teardrops falling Midnight calling Holding tight to this guitar Can't stop thinking about all the things you did to me Trying to find a melody that doesn't sound like misery Such a hard four letter word No one deserves this kind of hurt When I needed someone You were never there You had to star in your own show didn't care about what I wanted, but I'm finally letting go of the hurt, hurt, it's only a feeling, hurt, hurt, the pain can start to healing in my soul, such a hard No 
one deserves this kind of hurt. All right, so that was Hurt <laughs> by Sabrina Fallow. Yeah, you have a lot of themes, and I appreciate your music and how honest you are about everything. I think it provides a platform for people listening to not feel so alone. And if they do feel alone, all they have to do is push play. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. So I like, I love your music and I'm excited for this book where all you would have to do is push play. So it's, it's just going to be an audio book, right? It's almost like online exclusive or are you going to sell CDs? It's not, it's not. It's free. Oh, it's free. It's, there's nothing about what? Yeah, this, yeah. It's free. <laughs> it's free. What? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's. I mean. Well, that is quite there's, a deal. There's, there's, yeah. It's. It's, it's through. It, you can. You can. You can get it on my website. You can actually listen to it on my website. It's like a podcast series, so you can stream it through any of your preferred pro- podcasts, like Spotify or Apple Podcasts. Oh and, man. Yeah, it's available. It's, there's. There's no cost to it. All it is is, like you said, press play. Well, I freaking love exactly. that. Yeah. <laughs> that is what's up. Uh, well, wow, this is a community service if you think about it. A free podcast, audiobook with local artists. Local meaning mm-hmm. like live in the world because Sabrina's from Cal- Canada. I'm from Rhode Island or Connecticut. Where are you from, Terrell? Sunny, California. Oh, man, we are all spread out. Um, (laughs) It's amazing what the Internet can do. So you're in sunny California. I'm in really cold and confused New England. Sabrina's up there in Mm -hmm. (laughs) C-A-N-A. D-A. Canada. Yeah. Canada up (laughs) there. The place where where it's always cold. (laughs) Yeah, it's always snowing. What do you want to say to our listeners that hasn't been said yet? What do you want to express through this airwave? For mental health, for me, I'm dealing with anything in my life that I want to open up because I am the person that holds everything in. I don't, I've had so much problems opening up to people that they never listen to me. That has hurt me a lot. So I would say if you ever want to open up to anybody about any problems that you're going through, make sure you know that person is going to listen and not judge. Just listen. Even if they don't answer back, they're just listening to you. Because sometimes they answer back and it makes it worse. So I agree. Just, you, ha- you have to find that one person that you can really all open up to, but just have them listen. I feel like it's important to let them know, like, I just need you to listen right now. Don't say anything. Just let me talk. And that helps a lot. And Terrell, what would you like to express over this airwave to all of our listeners? Well, I mean, first and foremost, uh, you know, I I, I really want to thank you for having me on uh, with both of you today. What I really wanted to express is, again, uh, about the mental health, uh, ways that people can get help through resources, through if you're working through your job and, you know, through your, you know, your network of friends and family. Again, the title of my story is Alone. And I just want everybody to understand that you are not alone, you know, and it's okay to to reach out to certain people that, again, that you know what will be able to listen to you and like Sabrina said, not judge you for what you say or the emotions that you use, but just to be there. And, you know, even if you guys just just give them a hug, you don't have to respond back. And that Mm -hmm. will go a long way. For me, it it went a long way. You know, you you just want to be heard. For sure. And for myself, not just that, but prayers, prayer works, you know, and if you cannot get through here with your friends or family, reach out with a prayer. Right. And I think you can um, even spread that even further. Meditation for me works a lot. Oh, exactly. Yeah. Meditation. Just focus on your breath and breathe in and breathe out. And if you have a thought that is okay, it happens. Just accept it and let it go and float past. It's so soothing. I thought it was silly at first. I felt silly. I felt stupid. But then when I really sat down and I tried it with a guided meditation, which you can find on YouTube for free. And it's just this journey of sitting still, maybe focusing on your posture, sit up, 
and take a deep breath. And if you just popped popcorn, the air actually tastes like popcorn. And just focusing on that breath and what it tastes like, what it feels like. Is it cool? Is it warm? Does it feel like fresh air? Does it feel like stale air? And just accepting whatever it is and breathing out. And I love meditation. It's a conversation with yourself. You're your number one. It's, it's funny that you say that because I have a scene within the story where Cindy, the uh, main character, is having one of her anxiety attack. And she's on the phone with her father. And her father is coaching her to calm down. And they're actually doing the breathing techniques over the phone. Oh, that is so sweet. And it's really rare, I think, to get a parental support because we feel like we shouldn't tell our parents, you know? So I think that's also a lesson to, if you can let your parents in on what's going on in your head, maybe they can learn these techniques for you and kind of guide you through. And we all only have them for a little bit of time. I learned that. My dad just passed away, but I remember being lost and he was a truck driver and I called him crying. He said, what are you by? I said, a red truck. And he's like, that does not help me. <laughs> um, but um, <laughs> yeah, I was I was panicking. I was crying. I was lost in like New York and like New York City. And he's like, tell me, tell me a street name. They're everywhere. They're every five seconds. Just tell me a street name. And he guided me through New York City with just his imagination, remembering what what it's like to drive across the country. He's been to like almost every state when he was still healthy before the Alzheimer's and everything. I would call him panicking he was my tom tom and i said get me out of here <laughs> just anywhere but here anywhere but the city i hate driving in the city and i was panicking my parents knew a lot of what was going on with me but not everything i just had a really rough time transitioning from adolescence to adulthood and i think a lot of us do and especially i think covid brought out a lot in a lot of people there's a lot of different kinds of depression now there's a lot of fear anxiety and especially in children I have no problem talking to kids and being like, this is what's going on and it's crud. It stinks. Let's talk about it. I think it's really important for kids because right now is terrifying when you don't even understand how to go to the toilet. <laughs> like, And here you are dealing with this worldwide catastrophe. I mean, just imagine that you don't know how to tie your shoe and yet you're supposed to know how to navigate through this. Right. It's crazy. I just think it's important for us to talk to them. I love that she yeah. talked to her dad and her dad talked her through. I feel like we got a secret out of you. Maybe you like me. <laughs> so what is your website? How do they get to this book? Uh, the website, you can find my website. It's I am Terrell and that's dot -E -E com. Very cool. Backslash alone. So I am Terrell.com. That's an amazing website. Sabrina Fallow, what is your website? SabrinaFallow.com. <laughs> yeah. And that's S A B R I N A F A L L A H. Yes. Dot com. And my website <laughs> is go go DJ Gadget dot com. G A D G E T. Yeah. And um I'm going to post this on the website with the other Google Go Gadget Dirts, um, where we get the nitty gritty on local artists. I love this. I hope to talk to you somewhere in the summer and see how it's been going, the feedback you've gotten and what's yeah. going on with it. I would love to meet up again. So it's called Alone. Mm -hmm. It is a audio book about mental health and you can find it around Memorial Day at IamTerrell.com. That is amazing. Um, thank you guys so much. Check it out for yourself. You can, you, huh? can actually, you can actually go on there right now and kind of look at the page I created for it. And it's full of different, you know, interviews from the cast. Awesome. It even has Sabrina in there with the interview. Uh, she actually sent me a video. The clip with from the her Brian. She's done it too. <laughs> yeah. I love that. I, I, I sent the clip that I did the promo on on Brian Sullivan's early show. It's on the website too. And I also did a video explaining my the, the song that, that I sent to Terrell as well. Very cool. What song should we go out on? <laughs> this is to Sabrina. You know your songs. Um, I have them all in front of me, but I'm like... I am thinking something something positive. I'm thinking either break, breakthrough. Breakthrough. Because you're going to break, break through your fears. Yeah, 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 yeah. I Come agree. On. No matter what you're going through, whether it be grief or depression or anxiety, there is another side to it. Something I've learned through grief alone, one of my best friends dying, with my dad mm -hmm. dying, dealing with that, you're not going to get over it, but you are going to get beyond it, you're going to heal, 
You're never going to be the same, but you will heal. It takes time and it takes work. That's the one thing that I think people leave out. It does take work to work on yourself. It doesn't just come naturally. Sooner or later, you're going to break through. Hold out your hand. Open your eyes. Stare at the sun as you stand there. Realize never give in. Never give up. Never give out what you got when you got. What you love All around me The air is thin All around me The wall is closing All around me There's no escape But I kick as I scrape As I push As I take As I scream As I go straight through What holds me down Break through silence And the Whisper in my ear, you can let it go Now to let the fear of this, I know 